Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys the solution as well as a workaround in case of the solution for some reason does not work for you for the little bug or the issue that is happening on the home screens of the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and the Galaxy Note 8. And really what it is is a simple change of a setting. Now originally what should happen is when you press and hold on a application or an icon, multiple options should also pop up such as uninstall, remove shortcut, move it to the secret folder and then also clear badge now none of those popped up also if i was to bring this up there should be a remove so you can actually take applications away from your home screen if you would like to get rid of them so more than likely what happened is you did this you went into your settings you also went down to where it says the about phone you went to your build number and you tapped on that build number seven times which would unlock your developer options so once you got inside your developer options i mean this is something that i do with every single samsung for the last three or four years and a lot of other folks have been doing this as well it's a way to take away all these animation and transition and window animation scales so then it'll actually work faster going from window to window and it takes away this animation so it just gets to the point quick now all of these up here the first two you're able to have off so the window animation scale all this does is all the different windows that pop up so you can see here that it popped up pretty quick um, originally it'll start off at the 1x and you see that there's a little bit of a little window there let's move it to the 5x just so you can see how much slower that is so i turn it off just so i can get into all these windows quicker and then you also have the transition animation scale and then here is the animation scale the the animator duration scale is the one that is causing the issue so you can have the first two off but this one just put it at the 0.5x so it's not at that 0.1 or i should say the 1x which is making it slower so when you do the 0.5 now what's gonna happen was if you're to press and hold, now you have all your options pop up. So this is a way that you would also be able to remove the shortcut, you can uninstall it and everything else. So just in case, if you guys happen to run into the situation, it's only because of the last previous update to all the different home screens that was on the Galaxy devices was it needed to have that animator scale active at at least the 0.5. Now, the other question you might have is where is this remove? So that's really no big deal only because of the simple fact that inside of here you can remove the shortcut. Now, let's say for some weird reason, this does not help you and this is not the solution. Here is the workaround. This was actually something that I did before finding out that it was the animator scale. So let's say that I have two different applications that is on here that I wanna get rid of. So let's take, let's take this little uh, Gmail. Let's also take LinkedIn. And let's say that these are the two different applications that I would like to get rid of but I don't have the option to do it. So all you gotta do is just take it, you'll move it over to the very next screen. I'm gonna take this one, move it over to the very next screen. And the cool thing is that if you're to do the little pinch to zoom, this is where you can see all your different home screens. And this one is the default home screen. If I wanted the second one to, the, to be the default home screen, all you have to do is click on that little home icon on the top, and then that is your main home screen that it would go to you when you hit the home button. So the reason why I showed you all of this is because now that you've moved those two applications, you would like to get rid of those shortcuts. Here is that little trash can for that little home screen. You hit delete and then now you're good to go. So now those two little applications that were sitting right here is now gone. But for me, a lot of times I like to look at my full background image and I always have a extra home screen just sitting at the very end. So this right here was the solution as well as a workaround if for some reason that solution did not work, if you ran into the situation of not being able to get rid of any of these applications on your screen. And the reason why it has to be on for the animator as you can see here that this little application is bouncing up and down. That is a animation scale that is needed to keep this popped up for you to have those options. Really fast to show you what it would look like from right before and then I'm gonna end the video. Developer options, we're gonna go right on back just for little kicks and giggles. And now if I was to press and hold, you can see how it is not there. So if you wanna make sure you get all that animation out of your phone, uh, the only thing you're gonna be missing is the option of all those different tags that pop up when you press and hold on an application. Again, all you have to do is move those applications to its own window, just do a pinch to zoom and then hit that little trash can and then now you are good to go. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you did, make sure you guys hit on that like button. Also, if you learned something new, make sure you guys go below the video, hit on subscribe or you can go right over here to this little red circle. You can hit subscribe there as well too. And outside of that, I will see you guys later.